first lesson, we're going to talk about rate of change and the slope of a curve, as you can see. Now, what does that mean, first of all? The rate of change of a function represents nothing else than the speed at which this function is changing in regards to its uh, independent variable. The most common way to uh, express a function algebraically is using the f of x notation, which represents the y values for that function. So using this notation, we're going to have x representing uh, indep the independent variable, while y represents the dependent variable. When we talk about rates of change, we have uh, basically two concepts to consider. So we either analyze the rate of change of this function on an interval, or we just want to know the rate of change at a specific point. We are going to use the, the following terminology. Average rate of change, in short ARC, which represents the speed of change on an interval for this function. And then instantaneous rate of change, or IRC, which represents the speed of change at a specific point. To better understand this concept of average or instantaneous rate of change, let's look at a practical example from day-to-day -day life. Consider a car traveling between two points, A and B. The average speed for this car represents what we refer to in this course as average rate of change. And that is easy to calculate if you know the uh, distance and the time that takes you to go from A to B. While the instantaneous rate of change is the speed of this car at any of these points. So any point between A and B, including A and B, the speed at any of those points, that's actually uh, what we refer to as instantaneous rate of change. We now know what the difference is between an average and an instantaneous rate of change. So when you see a graph such as this, right away you know that we are trying to evaluate the average rate of change for this function. We can do a small trick here by choosing a line, the second that goes through the two points, the end of the interval, P and Q, and calculating the slope of this uh, secant, which is just a line. So it all sums up to finding the slope of this uh, secant PQ in order to determine the average rate of change of a function on a given interval, or, in other words, to find the uh, slope of that curve for that interval. In this second situation, we have uh, the same function, only that as you can see, it's only one point at which we want to uh, evaluate the uh, rate of change. Well, that would be the instantaneous rate of change. Similarly, we're going to try to find a line that goes through this point uh, without crossing the uh, curve of the function. The only line that uh, behaves in such a manner is the tangent at that point to the curve. It sums up to determining the slope of this uh, tangent at point P in order to determine the slope of the curve at that point or as we know uh, and we're going to use it all the time throughout the course the instantaneous rate of change of this function at point P. So I'm going to stop here for uh, this lesson. Thanks for watching.